So I'm not supposed to talk about this backrooms level, like it literally says to not reproduce this document, but uh, here I am talking about it. Hey guys, Brugley here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a very unique backrooms level called Asset9982. Again, no one's supposed to talk about it, probably because how dangerous it is, or because of all the unknown creatures that spawn here. But anyways, I'm sharing it with tens of thousands of you, uh, so yeah, let's, let's hop into it, shall we? Shameless plug time. Go check out my gaming channel, Toogly, for streaming clips and reactions, and join the Discord in the description below if you want to chat with me and other people from the channel. Thanks. So Asset9982 starts off with a warning. Do not share or reproduce this document without the express permission of the Backroom's non-aligned trading group. So yeah, if I disappear, it's their fault. Anyways, the level is seemingly controlled at one point by the BNTG and is still controlled by them. The BNTG is the Backroom's non-aligned trading group, which is a group that's kind of similar to Meg. In fact, they used to be in Meg and they split off from them. Uh, they're much more secretive and there are just really a bunch of strange aspects about them and this level that make no sense. And that's what I'll be diving into in this video. The sections in this video are the level description, the creatures and entities, and then finally, why is this level being hidden from everybody? Let's go. Have you thought about eating healthier this fall? You know, with schools and holidays and sports and stupid amounts of Halloween candy around the corner. HelloFresh is here to help you plan for that busy season ahead with delicious meals delivered right to your doorstep. Simply pick out what looks good to you, select a delivery date, then you can sit back and relax and cling to these final days of summer before school starts, obviously. HelloFresh understands that you don't want to come home after work or school and eat a PB&J every day for dinner. They get it. Which is why they offer up to 40 recipes that you can choose from per week. That way you'll never get bored with the same old food. So when life gets undoubtedly busy in the next few months, do not settle for delivery or anything else. Choose HelloFresh. It's 25% cheaper than takeout. It's also less expensive than groceries. And it comes with pre-portioned ingredients. So you don't have to worry about buying too much or forgetting something or anything like that. It's all right there in the package. For this video, I made the sweet chili pork and cabbage stir fry. And it took right under 24 minutes from start to finish. And seriously, for a 20 minute meal, this is absolutely fantastic. If you want to get your hands on one of these, Go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50 Brugley at checkout for 50% off and free shipping. I repeat, 50% off plus free shipping. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it, shall we? So the level consists of a large, weirdly shaped, flat plane that's around 8 kilometers across and 5 kilometers wide, or 5 miles by 3 miles if you speak American. Anyways, the level only being 5x3 makes it one of the smaller levels that I've gone over. Actually, definitely one of the smallest. In the top 5 at least. The entire ground of this flat plain is covered in some type of artificial grass. Like that really green fake grass. And that itself is resting on top of concrete. The level's ambience is chill at first, but otherworldly. It almost feels like you're in the sky on a big flat floor made out of concrete and fake grass. The level is always dark and the sky above you is always dark as well. And it takes the appearance of gray and black clouds accompanied by some mist. Except it's not actually a sky. That's why I did the, the air quotes. You just couldn't see them. It seems to be another flat surface, but with the texture of gray clouds on it. Now this is interesting because that's just like level 998 has. That level has a flat surface with a blue sky and white clouds. This level has a roof of black sky and gray clouds. At the edges and corners of this level, there's no walls or anything like that. It's actually made out of some kind of thick black fog or mist. 
Those who have attempted to walk through this foggy mist to see what's back there have never been seen from or heard from again, and we really don't know what to make out of it. At the very center of the level, there is a small series of white concrete buildings. Now, the buildings still have that fake grass floor and everything, but instead of it being an open sky above you and nothing around you, there are white walls and white ceiling, and you're just enclosed in these white boxes. The buildings can range from being the size of apartment buildings to being pretty small cubes, and some of them even have things like bedrooms and furniture and kitchens and stuff like that inside. Some of them even have working bathrooms. Now these white buildings also have the grass on the floor and they're way bigger on the inside than they are on the outside, which is a pretty common backrooms phenomenon. But it's also weird here because these buildings look small from far away, you know, until you get up inside of them. And then you realize, holy crap, like, this is a huge maze of hallways. It's almost like there are condensed versions of level zero inside of these white buildings. Now, a theory about why the level seems to be this weirdly constructed level of this flat plane with fake grass and weird white boxes is that the Backrooms Remodeling Company had something to do with it. So the BRC is a very mysterious and strange group of people that are in the Backrooms, and they seemingly manipulate and change level layouts and entire levels to some degree, even sometimes creating their own levels. For example, they literally crafted all of sublevel 0.2. Like, that level did not exist before they made it. Anyways, it seems like they've definitely had some stuff done here to make this level weird. For instance, putting those white buildings up with the mazes inside and putting the fake grass on top of the concrete, it just seems like something they would do. And it's at this point in your exploration of this level that the cracks in its safe facade start to show, and its true color, its dangerous color, becomes apparent. You are not as safe as you think you are. You see, at first, this level seems really relaxing. Just a calm, dark level with a fake grassy floor that spreads out for a few miles and just nothing else until you get to the entities. The most notable part of this level is just how many entities seem to spawn here. Now, this might be why no one is supposed to know about this level, you know, simply because it's so dangerous, or it could be for other reasons, which I'll get into in a few minutes. Almost any type of entity can manifest here. And the level also produces its own strange entities of many types. These creatures are unknown, they've never been seen before, and some of them just look so disgusting and creepy that it just makes you cringe at the sight of them. Now you can see the usual, you know, SFV virus victim or the skin stealer or a hound or something like that. But you also will see some other rare creatures like Blanche or Clinker Toys or Shadow Entities or other things that logically shouldn't be here. In one account, someone saw a giant stone monster that was just walking around attacking somebody. And there's other entities as well, like ones that should live in water that are just floating around here. It seems as if anything can be here at any time. And they all seemingly come out of the dark mist surrounding the level. Another weird thing is that the entities here behave even more aggressively than they normally do towards people. They seem to go out of their way to chase and attack anyone they see. Even typically peaceful entities, like doll faces or something, are aggressive here. They'll just start running after you and attacking. And because of this, the level's properties are steeped in mystery, and no one has any answers for the entities or the strange layout or anything. But we do know when the level was discovered. It was found after a wanderer located a plain white door way back on level 1. Now this is kind of weird and out of place for that level, since there's not really too many doors there, and especially a plain white door, it kind of just sticks out like a sore thumb. And to this day, that is the only known entrance to this place, and that's very dangerous. So why is this level hidden from everyone? In the recent years, it turns out that the level is being used as some sort of entity farm to harvest rare materials and objects from creatures who spawn here. But it doesn't just stop there, because the level also doubles as some sort of arena combat place where wanderers have to fight aggressive entities uh, to receive the materials and resources from them. It also seems to be a place that the BNTG group sends its enemies, or people that have wronged them in some way, as some sort of punishment, or prison, or purgatory. 
they send them here to fight these creatures as some sort of twisted punishment. Not very fun, and it could be because of this dark pastime that the level is being hidden from the masses. The issue with the level entrance being that white door back on level 1 is that it leads to many people coming here by complete accident, having no idea that they're likely walking into their own grave. Because the level initially seems safe. When you see the calm white buildings and the grassy expansive floor, you think it's safe. Until you get too deep into it, and you start seeing the monsters crawling out of the mist that surrounds it. So for these reasons, and many others, Asset 9982 needs to be avoided at all cost which is why the level is being hidden for most people. Whoopsie. And because of this hidden nature and some people having to fight entities here, some wanderers have resorted to calling this small level Fight Club because of the amount of entities and people that have ended up trapped here and having to fight for survival. Because once you walk through that white door, it is extremely hard to make your way out of the level. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This one was really cool. I love the, the secrecy behind it. I love how it's hidden. I mean, you literally cannot find it in the list of levels on the back room's wiki dot, so this is a little lore exclusive piece from the Brewster to you. Hope you enjoyed. Check out Toogly and Spoogly if you want more content from me. I'm really uploading a lot of content I enjoy in Spoogly right now. Lots of video essays and deep dives. Check it out. Also, follow my Twitter and join the Discord uh, for more updates and live streams and announcements, that kind of thing. Thank you so much for all you do, and I will see all of you lovely people in the next video on any of my channels. Oh,